going on guys? Out here today with my dad. We're gonna do a little fishing today, a little trout fishing, but there's gonna be a little uh, spin on it. Uh, we're in Tennessee and uh, there's a river right down there that we've been fishing. Having a little bit of a hard time though uh, catching some trout on lures and stuff since we're so new to the area. So uh, we're gonna try to go like completely old fashioned here. And uh, you see a bunch of these uh, rocks that we got here. We're just gonna flip over a bunch of rocks, try to find bugs, worms, and any kind of just live bait we can. And uh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> A lot, of stuff. Get a lot of ants right ants, there. Ants, different things. There. And we're going to um, uh, uh, lift over rock stuff and try to just grab some bait and just do some old fashioned uh, worm fishing at this spot where we've seen a whole bunch of trout jumping at this bridge up here, which you guys see in a second. But we've been having a hard time connecting with them. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just try to find our own bait. And oh, there's you know, a lot of centipedes and stuff. I'm pretty sure that uh, we'll get something this way we just need to find some good worms or something in fact there's some old logs over here i think these logs yeah that's that's the speed we're talking about right there gosh i used to do this when i lived in arkansas uh, yeah this used to be the way that everybody used to start yep. their fishing trip you go out and you get your own bait in 2020 we have so much fancy stuff that uh kind of don't do it anymore but let's lift up this stone here oh there's oh here are a couple worms a couple worms right here yeah, there we go. Perfect trout size worm right there. Well, there's one worm, folks. Let's see if there's any under here. Just a couple of inches long. That's like the perfect trout size right there. Got him. All right, guys, so here is the bridge right here. And this spot here, we have fished this for probably over an hour. Yet Yesterday, we came and got a whole bunch of bites, but never caught any. And they were all just right along this little bit of shore here you can see some boulders down in the water right there and uh and i think it just kind of breaks up the current but they were all just right in here so uh i'm gonna get rigged up here get a few little worms on look at that little morsel right there oh he's a wiggly one too dynamite all right we're just straight oh, up one just came up to mine right no kidding right like instantly. Yes, instantly oh there's a couple ducks i almost oh. caught a duck oh he's in my line okay he's out <laughs> well, we've been doing a catch and cook duck real quick here. Uh-huh. I got one. I got one. It's a good one, too. I'm not kidding you. It's a really good one. Oh, it just got off. It just got off. It just got off. Are you kidding? Pops, I'm not kidding. That was like an 18-inch trout. Holy mackerel. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, shoot. You know what I did that was different that time? I lowered it all the way to the bottom and let it drift more along the bottom instead of, like, keeping it in mid-water column. Kind of just risk the snag. Yeah, yeah. I can see trout down in the water. Yeah, I can see there. I can see. I've seen two. It might have been the same one. I don't know, but yeah. Ooh, I see a big old trout. Ooh, let's get over there. There's a white disc down there, and there's a big trout right onto the side. I see him just kind of cruising around. We get over here. That is a good one. He's swimming around down there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sneak out onto here. Right onto this platform. What could possibly go wrong? Ah. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. All right. I think he might. He picked up. Hey, Asa. Look at that. Asa, I saw him down there. Oh, he's going, oh man. <laughs> I saw him down there and I cast toward him. It drifted right over and boom. Oh my gosh. So the question is, should I climb down? Oh no, he just got around a tree. Okay, there we go. Is there a ladder there? Yeah, well, the can, kind of. No, no. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, with that, I think that's six pound test. Uh, so I really think I can just go around all these bars, and then if you want to go down the go down the sure. bank there and land your fish. You. All right. Oh I'll try not to lose him. All right, guys, we're gonna have to do this. Uh, we didn't plan on. Well, we just thought we'll hook up on a fish and we'll decide what to do. This is called make it up as you go. Right? Yes. That is a nice, nice fish. Yeah, you know, we honestly thought that, like, hey, if there's some, uh-oh, he's going. We thought if there, if we get smaller trout, we can just haul them up. But if we do hook up on a big one, we'll figure it out. 
<laughs> okay. I'll wet my hands. <laughs> Come to Papa. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, we got more time. Well, he's going away under the bridge, man. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do here. Got him. Whew. Nice. Ha. He's t he's tired more tired than I am, I think. That fresh rainbow trout. Woo hoo hoo. That is a beautiful fish. All right. All right, guys. Let's see if I can get one now. Guys, guys, guys. I see a trout. I see a nice trout. A f not a giant, but a good fat plump trout <gasps> got him yep yeah. oh it's a brown trout brown trout i saw him i literally sight fish for him oh we both oh nice fish pups oh, oh, oh. yes okay we're gonna have to do the same thing with this one i'm just gonna have you hold the rod and then i'll go down pops that is a nice trout beautiful wow wow all right guys we got to make our way all the way down there because there's no access it's too steep it's just a cliff right there and uh, so we're gonna just make our way <laughs> down here. When, when, guys, when we first came to this spot, we saw all small fish here. And so we just thought, oh, it'd be fun to catch some small trout and haul them up, but this is a nice one. Getting them past these pipes is gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a challenge. Yeah, if he wants to swim down river, you swim down river there, buddy. There you go. No, 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 go down river, go down river. You're fine. Get around these pipes, get around. Oh, he swam, he's like swam right into the pipe. Oh no, oh no, oh no, he's snagged, we're snagged. Oh great, on a metal pipe, we're snagged on a metal pipe, folks. Yes, okay, there we go, got him out. Oh, he's, he, he literally like oh, no. swam right in it. I got him kind of, swim out of there, boy. There go. he's gone, right? Well, I gotta get him past it now. Oh, oh, you see, that? like he's going for the next one. Hey, get out of there. Oh my goodness. Maybe if I haul him real fast over the over top that, of him. Yeah, over that right there. Yeah, over that part. There you go. There we go. There we go. Got it. <laughs> okay, All right. Yes, down. sir. Just... All right, guys. I'm gonna run down. All right. Just make our way down here. Got to be careful for snakes and stuff. We are in Tennessee. It's different than Idaho that way. Gorgeous fish. Oh, he's barely hooked too. I got him. Yes! Guys, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous brown trout. First brown trout in Tennessee. I'm gonna get the hook out real quick, Pops. Sweet! Sweet, guys, that is fantastic. Well, guys, we are out of bait. That was literally the last good worm. There's one teeny tiny one, but it's not even worth using. Like, the trout wouldn't, yeah, it's, it's just so tiny. You, can barely, you can't even get it on a hook, so. But we are done. We came, we saw, wow. we conquered. That was really fun. That was very cool. Sight we, uh, we worked our way up the food chain. We, we did. Found the bait. Uh huh. That's fun. Uh huh. Sweet. Look at this river, guys. Good grief. This is amazing. All right, so we have our trout here. We're just going to clean them. I'm going to do a simple gut. Let's see if there's anything in the guts, though. Ooh, look how pink that meat is, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look. Out of its intestinal tract comes a crawdad claw. Crawdad claw right there. Nothing else really in there, but guys, that tells us there's some crawdads in this river. Here's something kind of curious, guys. Look how on the tip of his tail there, it's red. And on the tip of that fin, it's red. I don't know, is that a Tennessee thing? Or, I, I don't catch that many brown trout, so I don't ever, re but I, I, in, in the ones that I've caught, I don't ever remember seeing red like that. So, that's kind of curious, but got our fish done. Sweet. Here, he's right there, see. Oh, 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 that is a little guy. Guys, we huh? had a little crawdad here. I'm just flipping over a few rocks. That's the size of a dry creek outfitter. Uh... Got him. 
<laughs> Guys, look at this little crawdad. Oh, you want to use him for bait? I just lost my hook, but yeah, I, okay. you know, I will. I, I'll use him for bait. I'll put another look, hook Look, he on. has red on the tips of his claws. Oh, yeah. Guys, you know all those different oh, colors yeah. of baits? That's this good. Guy's look red. at and his, his antenna are his red. His antenna are red, too. Okay. Wow. We have that color. Excellent. Yeah, we're just going to stick him in there right with our trout. <laughs> <gasps> nope, see, there's a crawdad right there. Oh my gosh, that's got to be from there. Uh huh, he must have gotten got him. Oh, he got him, or hopefully. Look, the, oh, look how fast these crawl. The, guys, the Tennessee crawfish, that is one thing. They are way faster and trickier than the old slow Idaho crawdad. Pinned it. You got him. <laughs> there we go. Look how orange this one is. This oh, wow, orange. yeah, he's got orange, and his tail end is. Cool. You already know, just throw them right in there. Just look for another. Pops, there's one right here. See, we must Shut be stirring up. them up. We must be stirring them up. This is a, this is actually an eating one. Got him. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Oh, Guys, we are on a roll. <laughs> We're stirring them up by lifting up these rocks. They are just coming out. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> there he is. Uh huh. More reddish orange color there. Oh, they're all small though. So what the plan is, guys, is uh, we're gonna um, uh, we're gonna we have some other stuff to do today, so we're gonna go do that stuff. But then I think we're gonna come back a little later with all of our crawdads here, and uh, we are gonna. I mean, this guy right here, the last one I caught, it's soft. And, I mean, small. You talk about trout candy right there. That is what I'm talking about. And even, like, the bigger ones. Like, I mean, maybe the trout maybe are big enough to eat that hole. But even if they aren't, we can get the meat out of the claws and tail and just use the meat, which is another method that we frequently use. This is the tiniest one. Check out this little squeak. I mean, whew, trout candy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back a little later. We're going to use these as bait. All right, guys, we're taking some fish up to our neighbor lady up here. She gave us some food um, out of the bin. Uh, uh, she gave us some food the other day because we're staying at a VRBO, and she's the housekeeper, so we're going to give one of these trout to her. She loves trout. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hey. Oh. I have some trout. I've trout. We caught, we caught two big ones yesterday. One's a rainbow, one's a brown trout. Well, bless your heart. <laughs> early in the morning, about seven. Oh, okay. I must miss them when I... Yeah, they go in that field right there and they eat that grass. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy the fish. Oh, I will. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, guys, it is the next day. Uh, we ran out of daylight the other day. We were doing some stuff, and so uh, we thought we'd just come back today. And it's actually kind of nice because the sun's back up. It's, it's noon. I see fish. I see fish again. And, oh, we, guys, we got fish. Look at, there's, guys, guys. Good size trout. Whoa, well, okay, I see two. There are two over here. There's one in that ditch. I mean, there, look at that. Oh my goodness, we gotta drop some stuff. Here. Guys, you see that big shadow right down there? Guys, we, we got fish. We got, this is cool because you can see down in the water. The water's actually fallen in, in, in water in oh level and it's bright and sunny out today, which wasn't too bright yesterday. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. They're they're just trout all over. There are trout. They're good size ones too. The, yeah, they're 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 big ones. They're not like little in Idaho we have a lot of small trout. I, I love Idaho trout fish, but it's small. Anyway, we're gonna drop our crawdads down. We kept the crawdads overnight. Crawdads keep in a bucket for a long, long time. And uh, so we're gonna drop our crawdads down and let's get let's get sight fishing. Sight fishing for trout. There's mine. Perfect size right here. Looking in the tail. Alright, so here we go guys. Get in the middle here. Actually I'm gonna go right here. And let's see. Okay, there's a big one right down here. That's a big old rainbow. I can tell from up here. Got him. Yep. I, oh, he came off. I saw him come over and grab the crawdad, though. The oh, this one's soft. This, Ooh. this, this one. Ouch! He's not that soft. Ouch! Ouch! Let me go, you bum! Dang it! <laughs> yeah, he ain't that soft, son.
Got him. Yep. Yep. He swam right over to it. This is a big uh, crawdad, too. Nice job, Fox. Huh? Yes, I think he got it good, too. I guess. Do you want me to go down and get it? Or yeah, you would you mind? <laughs> All right, I'll get it. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm going to go down and get my dad's fish here. This is so much fun finding our own bait and then coming here and catching stuff on it. Got him. Got him around the spot, the danger spot there. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, Pops, it's a good one. Do we want to eat this guy? Yeah, I mean, if you can let him go great, if, 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 if he, you know, swallowed it, then yeah. yeah. Nope, it's right on the edge of his lip, actually. It's whatever you want. Oh, I've almost got it. There, got it. Woo! Nice fish, Pops. Oh, there we go. Should we just let this one go? All right. Cool. All right, guys. Oh my gosh, I have the tiniest crawd out of the bunch right here. This has to get a trout. I downsized. Oh, now he's swimming over to mine. He's swimming over to mine. He's gonna, I think he just took it. Er, no. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he, he's biting it. He's biting it. He's trying to, yep, yeah, yeah, he's, I'm letting him take it. There, got him. Did you see that? He just, <laughs> I could see his mouth just like chomping on it. Uh, yeah, I did too. That's, yep. okay, I'll yes. Go down. I'll go down again. Sweet. That was cool. That was cool. He's like, wait, wait, that's a little crawdad. He swims right over. All four of them that we've caught have been solid fish. <laughs> All right, let's go down and help Ace with his fish. When I was a kid, a buddy of mine by the name of Scott Rocci, he and I, we grew up in Iowa, and we fished from a bridge, and one time, the water wasn't as clear as this is, of course, but one time we looked down, and I'm not kidding you, there was a, about a three foot northern pike, which just wasn't normal in this uh, creek that we fished, a little river. And uh, we never caught it, but that always gave me the, the idea of a thrill of going out and fishing from bridges. So let's see. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, come on. It's a beauty. Well, guys, super fun time here. Super fun to, to uh, work our way up the food chain with the diff finding our own bait. That was that's really cool. Anyway, now it is time to cook up a little trout. Let's have it's lunch time. It's lunch time. Let's have a little riverside lunch. Guys, we're doing something brand new right now. I try to do something new every single time for every video uh, in, in some way, especially when it comes to the cooking part, so that it's never the same. So you guys that know, you see, you guys know, whenever you click on a video, there's gonna be a new recipe, new thing like that. And I was looking at the fridge just a little bit ago, and I was like, you know what? What should I do that's different? I don't really have a plan. We didn't really actually even plan on keeping any trout. We we're gonna give them all away, but we kept one and Looking around the fridge and I see this beautiful pack of bacon. Four strips. So the first step to this process here, we have a little grill here. This actually comes, uh, I'm in Tennessee, but I'm staying in a VRBO with my uh, family. And um, I'm actually gonna come down here specifically to film videos. We're here for another purpose, which I will keep private for now. Uh, but we're here for something else, but of course I fish everywhere I go. I do not. I always bring fishing rods and lots of tackle and uh, So here we are grill is going well. This came with the VRBO. Isn't this a gorgeous spot here? I mean we have this porch. You got a hammock You've got the river right down there We almost always stay on a river uh, Any kind of body of water actually so that we can fish <laughs> so beautiful beautiful spot here love Tennessee it's a gorgeous spring day out here but uh, that's the first step of the process get the old charcoal going so uh, once that heats up we'll put the grates on and we'll be ready to go in the meantime let's prepare the old trout here I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna like cut some slits in it like so oh I just sharpened my knife 
and it is cutting through this trout like butter. Next, we're going to take some of my first cast seasoning. Link in the description. I love my own seasoning. We're going to put it on here. And let me tell you, folks, the seasoning has been getting rave reviews from my subscribers who bought it. People are loving it. In fact, I have people reordering it as soon as they're, uh, as soon as they run out of it. And uh, so, anyway, link to this in the description. I highly recommend you try it. It is fantastic on fish. Heck, it's, you know what I really like this stuff on, honestly, is um, eggs. That was actually one of the first things I ever tried it on were uh, scrambled eggs. And I still put it on eggs. Take this bacon. Ooh, it's stretchy. Raw bacon. And lay the trout like so. I've actually never really bacon wrapped anything, so I kind of don't know what I'm doing here. So we'll learn together. Shouldn't be too hard. I just see people, usually they take like toothpicks and just kind of take the toothpicks, make sure the, the trout stays wrapped. All right, back to the grill. Ooh, the grill is looking hot. We're gonna take, we're gonna use this thing guys because it'll help preserve some of the juices of the trout, or of the, yeah, of the trout and bacon. Spray it with a little grill, grilling Pam grill. Is this is oil or something like that. And the trout. Bacon wrapped trout. Ooh, ooh! Look at the succulentness. If that is a word, indeed, that is indeed a word. Succulentness. My guess is it'll take about 10 to 12 minutes for the trout and bacon to cook. But we'll check on it as it cooks. Make sure everything's. Let's check it. Mmm. -hmm. I do not have any sort of grill tools. Whoa, whoa, that is cooking fast, folks. Look at that. Caught that right in time. You know what we're going to have to do? Um, anyway, our, sorry, I was just saying my our grill does not come with any of the normal grill tools, which stinks. So we're going to have to make this up as we go. The cool thing about this is we can lower the charcoal so it's not as close to, uh, to the fish there. And uh, hopefully that will cook it a little bit slower there. Time to bring out the plate. Hmm. Check number two. Ooh, look at that, guys. Look at it, look at it. You cooked all the way. Oh, yeah, fine. Cooked all the way to the center. Guys, in case you're new to fishing, you want to do your own catch and cook, the way you know a trout is done, or any fish is done, is when the flesh of the fish is not clear anymore. You know the fish is done. If it's clear looking on the middle, we almost threw it right on the porch. Um, if it's clear looking, it is not finished, and when it becomes white all the way through and starts pulling away from the bone, you've got done fish. Pops, what a great day of fish. Oh man. Mm, fish off good. like this. Oh, yeah, well, how long been? This is like a BLT, right? Bacon lace trout. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Wow. I like it. Oh yeah, we my. could make bacon lettuce tomato sandwich trout next time. How about BLT? Bacon lettuce trout. Yeah, sandwich. bacon lettuce. Yeah, yeah, bacon lettuce trout sandwich. That, that would be good. good. Ooh, this good. looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like Should we pray? Guys, yes, I'm going to flip this over here. And uh, this side mm. here is. Looking, looking good, delicious. I'm gonna grab a bite of bacon, a bite of trout, and some trout skin. Okay, so let me just say, I love trout. Uh -huh. right? I love bacon. How how is this a bad plan? Man, this is good. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Wow. I like that. Wow. That's good, guys. I would. Uh, that Folks. is flavor town, man. That I'm is telling you, that is crazy Guys, good. Guys, those of you, oh my fishermen word. out there, you eat fish, bacon wrapped trout. Oh, now you uh, gotta do it. Oh, you have to do this. Mm. That is amazing. That is amazing. I wish you guys were here for this. This is really mm -hmm. good. Guys, you gotta try this. I know a lot of you guys have been saying you're starting to do your own catch and cooks and stuff like that. Yep. This is a must. This is a must. Oh my word. You want to I invite done me for this? But this kind of thing any time. You guys might be seeing this in more and more, like, we just do bacon wrap fish all the time. Bacon wrap whatever, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. Pops was great fishing with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <Here we> go. <laughs> <laughs> our handshakes and fist bumps. 
Fist bump. There we go. We got it. It. I should announce it before I pound it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do a pound it. We're not doing noggins. <laughs> We're not doing noggins. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We're going to devour this fish. We'll see you guys in the next one.